Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at Getchell A2 number 106 from Robert Getchell's second book of practical studies for trumpet. In this video I'm going to perform the etude and offer some commentary and performance tips. Thanks so much for tuning in and now for performance of Getchell A2 number 106. In the beginning, this etude is marked largo, meaning slow and broad. It's also marked with liberty, although it should feel free. I don't like to go overboard with this. In other words, if it's too free rhythmically, it starts to sound like bad rhythm. So my approach is to play somewhat strict rhythmically, but very free musically. In my performance of the opening, I like a tempo of somewhere around eighth note equals 66. In the opening four lines, I like to approach this etude lyrically, connecting one note to the next. Notice the retard at the end of three out of four of these lines with a molto retard at the end of the fourth line. The end of those phrases have to relax a little bit and then a tempo on the following lines. On the G octaves in line three and again in line four, I cheat just a little bit by lightly articulating the high G. You can disguise that by spinning the air forward on the low G. At the presto, I like a dotted quarter note at 132, but make sure that you can play it methodically and slowly before jumping to that tempo. I think a tempo of dotted quarter at around 120 is appropriate as well. Whatever tempo you pick, make sure that you can handle that particular tempo. You want it to sound easy and not frantic. At the opening of the presto, play very lightly with the mezzo piano dynamic and staccato notes. In the second line of the presto, play a true forte so that you have plenty of room to play softly in the following bar. Exaggerating the dynamics throughout will score you some extra points on this one. At the end of the third line, the style changes a little bit to a more legato style. Although it is marked piano, it is okay as the line ascends to crescendo along with it. Notice the accents in the next to last line. Make sure that those stand out. This one should finish dramatically with a crescendo to the last note. The last note should be the biggest note in the entire etude. Each Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm releasing new videos, all things trumpet, with an emphasis on trumpet performance, pedagogy, fundamentals, and audition preparation. If you're enjoying this content, click that like button and consider subscribing to this channel to get access to new content as it's being released. Your support for this channel means a lot, and I hope that it is a helpful resource for you. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.